In the distant kingdom of Phrygia reigned Tantalus, son of Zeus, with Princess Pluto. Due to his noble lineage, he had privileges at Olympus, sharing the table with the gods at the banquets. In his privileged position, he could hear the conversations and plots of the gods. Although he was entitled to all the hospitality of the gods when visiting Olympus, he did not respect his hosts. After leaving Olympus, Tantalus spread the secrets of the gods, which he listened to during the banquets. In another episode, he stole some nectar and ambrosia from the gods' table, food that conferred immortality and therefore was restricted to the gods. Due to their omniscience, the gods knew what Tantalus was doing. However, because they enjoyed his company, they ignored his actions and did not punish him. Tantalus wanted to repay the hospitality of the gods with a banquet in his palace. Zeus, Hermes, and Demeter accepted the invitation. The king accompanied the preparations for the banquet. He wanted the event to be perfect so that the gods would give him even more blessings. He called his son Pelops and said, My son, today you will have the honor to share the table with the gods of Olympus. Thank you, my dear father. Finally, I will have, like you, the privilege of being at the table in the presence of my glorious grandfather. The young Pelops walked radiantly towards his room to prepare himself for the banquet. Tantalus called the cook and said, Today you shall prepare the most splendrous meal. The king whispered something in the cook's ear, who could not hide his concern. The gods arrived at the palace, where they were received with all reverence. The banquet started to be served, and the guests talked about the most diverse subjects. Then, Zeus posed the question, Where is my grandson? You said he would be among us. Don't worry, father of mine. Soon he will be at the table with you. The moment of the main course arrived. The cook brought a beautiful stew with an unmatchable aroma. The goddess Demeter, who was in a deep sorrow due to the departure of her daughter Persephone to the kingdom of Hades, devoured the stew to slightly improve her mood. Tantalus served the stew to Zeus and Hermes. The two gods exchanged suspicious looks. Don't you like my offering to the gods? You degenerate creature! How dare you serve human flesh to the gods? It's not a mere human sacrifice, my father. It's the greatest sacrifice. I'm offering you the flesh of my firstborn son. Demeter, who had already eaten a large piece of flesh, felt sick. We have been complacent with your crimes in the past, but this deserves to be punished in an exemplary way. Tantalus was sent to Tartarus where he would suffer a terrible punishment. He was placed in a lake surrounded by fruit trees. The water covered him up to his chin, and the fruits were within reach of his hands. However, Tantalus constantly felt a terrible hunger and thirst. When he drew down to drink water, the lake level also dropped, preventing him from quenching his thirst. When the hunger appeared, he tried to reach the fruits over his head but the wind pushed the branches and the fruit away. The gods decided to resurrect the innocent Pelops. They made him even more beautiful than before. However, one of his shoulders was missing, the one devoured by the goddess Demeter. Zeus asked Hephaestus to create an ivory shoulder for his grandson. Back to life, Pelops became king of the Peloponnese. Meanwhile, his father suffered eternal punishment in Tartarus, with the objects of his desire so close and at the same time so far away.